Let's go! What's going on, my beautiful channel family? Today is Monday, July the 15th. Another day the most I has made and one day closer to our blessed hope. And I'm your brother, Adam, with the Watchman Adam News Channel. Back with the latest end time news. Family, let's go! But first, family, let me say thank you for tuning back in with us today. Guys, your support means the world to us. Thank you so much. If you don't mind, could you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on? That way you can stay on top of all the latest end time news. Now, while the Watchmen Adam News Channel is an end time news channel, we have a few goals and missions. Number one, to point you to our Father and Creator, the Most High God, and the finished work of His Son Jesus on the cross, and to show you the times we're living in, the end times. But nothing demonstrates God's love for us more than John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what family? But have everlasting life. Family, I'm going to keep on saying it. That is the definition of true love. When you look up love in the dictionary, it should give you John 3.16. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. And family, as always, if you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below and we'd be honored to pray over your prayer requests. There is power in prayer and prayer works. And remember, no prayer request is too big and no prayer request is too small for our God. And family, that's facts. Now to today's end time news update. Family, let's go. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, today we're back with the end time news update and we'll be taking a look at five significant end time headlines and some upcoming day counts. Family, I am telling you, it becomes more apparent by the day guys that we are truly living in the biblical last days. And family, this past week we have seen a lot of stuff unfold. I'm telling you, it's all converging and coming together. We're seeing Bible prophecy literally jump off the pages of the Bible. So family, without further delay, let's get into today's end time news update. Why? Because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Alrighty guys, headline number one comes from NowTheEndBegins.com on July 13th. And this end time headline reads, Joe Biden in a private call on money to donors told them, It's time to put Trump on a bullseye five days before unaliving attempt. Coincidence? Now, family, this story right here has dominated the headlines. Let's check this out. Now, family, according to Politico, a defiant President Joe Biden insisted to his donors on Monday that he is done talking about the debate and implored the party to ignore any further distractions and direct his attention back to Donald Trump. Now, family, listen to this quote from President Joe Biden, and I quote, I have one job, and that's to beat Donald Trump. I'm absolutely certain I'm the best person to be able to do that. So we're done talking about the debate. It's time to put Trump in a bullseye, Biden said, end quote. Now, family, what a very interesting thing for Biden to say just a few days before what we saw on the 13th, huh? Now, family, I'm not saying Joe Biden had anything to do with what we saw happen with Donald Trump, but that was a very interesting thing for him to say, and then that happened on the 13th. But family, I honestly felt in my spirit a couple months ago that something like this was going to happen. And guys, later we'll be breaking down this whole situation. I'm still seeking the most high for answers. But guys, this situation right here has turned the country upside down. What's your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below, please. Now let's jump to headline number two. And it comes from 7 Israel National News on July 14th. And this end time headline reads... Israel strikes targets in Syria. Now, family, in the word of the Most High God, in Isaiah 17, 1, there's a very straightforward prophecy. Listen to it. The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous heap. Now, family, one of the latest alleged IDF operations took place in Alot, Syria, which is 330 miles from Damascus. But family, over recent years, we've seen the IDF target their enemies in Damascus, Syria with multiple operations, especially at Damascus International Airport. And family, this latest IDF alleged operation took place in our lot, but it wasn't Damascus. But family, it's only a matter of time before Damascus is wiped off the map because that's what the Bible says. 
But the enemies of Israel have a stronghold in Syria, and Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to take them out. Now, family, let me ask you a question. And this isn't a salvation issue, but I'm wondering, do you guys believe Isaiah 17, 1 is fulfilled before or after the rapture? Let me know in the comment section below. But family, the one thing we do know for sure, Isaiah 17, 1 will be fulfilled because it's Bible prophecy. And every prophecy in the Bible will be fulfilled. Now family, let's jump to headline number 3. And headline number 3 comes from the Watchers on July 13th. And this end time headline reads, Bright green fireball over Turkey. Family, we got more signs in the sky. Let's check this out. So family reports say that a very bright fireball streaked through the night sky over several cities in Turkey on July 5th, 2024. Now the object was burning long enough to change colors from bright green to bright blue. Now family, check out this picture right here. That's an actual picture of the fireball that soared over Turkey. And if you followed this channel for a while now, you know we report meteors and signs in the sky. And family, I've noticed over the last year or two, there's a lot more reported meteor sightings. Family, that's no coincidence. They are signs in the sky. They're becoming more frequent. Family, keep on looking up. Just not for meteors, but for the return of the king. If any of you guys have saw any kind of strange things in the sky, let me know. I know me myself, man, I've seen a couple things. But family, if you have any reported sightings, I would love to hear them. Now let's jump to headline number four, guys. And our fourth headline comes from Barrett Bart on July 12th. And this end time headline reads, Satanic statue at University of Houston beheaded during Hurricane Burl. Now family, have y'all noticed here recently there's been a lot of strange stuff happening in Houston. Let's check this out. Now, family, this is interesting here. So an 18-foot horn statue featured at the University of Houston and dubbed by pro-life groups as Satanic was beheaded during Hurricane Burrow on Monday. Now, the ugly sculpture is called Witness and is part of a three-part installation by artist Shazia Skinander. And family, its nickname is Hava. H-A-V-A-H. -A -A -H. Now family, check out the origins and meaning of the name Hava. The name Hava finds its roots in Hebrew culture and language. Now derived from the Hebrew name Shava, it is closely related to the English name Eve, made famous by the biblical figure known as the first woman created by God. Family, that's very interesting stuff right there. Now this sculpture is an undressed female figure with braids gnarled into goat horns, probably representing a Baphomet. And it has arms like tentacles, probably trying to represent Medusa or something. And guys, it has a judicial lace collar to pay homage to the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Badger Ginsburg. And as a Supreme Court Justice, Ginsburg was a strong supporter of A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N. Now family, before being moved to Houston, this satanic statue sat atop New York City's biggest courthouse. That's a picture of it right there. Now family, if you look to the left, you see the before picture. And if you look to the right, you see the way it looks afterwards. Now family, check this out. Now initial reports a few days ago said that Hurricane Burl caused this to happen. But now the University of Houston is saying that they had video footage of it being vandalized during the storm. So family, they're saying during Hurricane Burl, someone got out in the middle of the storm as it was hitting Houston and did this to that statue. Now family, what do y'all think about this? And I want to say this. If someone did get out and do this to that statue, the Most High God can use anybody he wants to to get his will and purpose done. And I looked online and I couldn't find any video footage of the thing being vandalized. If y'all can, let me know. But family, one thing I know for sure, it's not a coincidence this thing's head was taken off. Guys, what's y'all's thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below, please. Now to headline number five. And our fifth headline comes from End Time Headlines on July 15th. And this End Time Headline reads, Costco is selling an apocalypse dinner kit that will last for 25 years. So the wholesale club Costco is now selling what they call the Ultimate Apocalypse Dinner Kit, which lasts 25 years and costs apparently under $100. Now family, check this out. These kits contain 150 servings of froze dry foods with stuff like pasta alfredo and macaroni, teriyaki rice, 
creamy pasta and veggies, pot pies, tomato basil soup with pasta, chicken noodle soup, brown sugar and maple multigrain, and apple cinnamon cereal. And also included in the kits are white rice, vanilla pudding, granola bars, orange drinks, and a milk alternative. And they say to prepare the meals, you just add water. And they say the kit has a total of 15,280 calories. When I read you just add water to make these meals, guys, it took me back to my army days and MREs. If you know, you know. Now, family, listen to what this article says. This assortment isn't just a temporary fix-it. It's a long-term solution. Costco writes on its site. It's a tangible expression of your dedication to ensuring you and your loved ones are cared for no matter what lies ahead. Family, I don't know about y'all, but to make sure my loved ones are cared for, we try to live our life for Jesus. But let's get back to the article. Now, the company heartwarmingly adds, but it's just not about survival. It's about maintaining a sense of normalcy, comfort, and even enjoyment during challenging times. Now, family, I don't think it's a coincidence that Costco is selling these kits. The entire world knows that something isn't right, but those of us who know the Bible and are watching, we know exactly what's going on. And family, it says these kits last 25 years, but I'm going to tell you something. 25 years from now, we're going to be in the millennial reign with Christ. But when you see Costco selling emergency kits, man, the whole world knows something isn't right. Keep on looking up, guys. Now, family, let's look at some day counts for some upcoming high watch days. Day count number one is Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, and it's in 79 days, October 2nd to October 4th, 2024. And family, the second one is Yom Kippur, also known as the Day of Atonement. It's in 88 days. It runs October 11th to October 12th, 2024. And now, family, let's look at some recent earthquake activity. We're going to go to Volcanic Discovery and look at earthquake activity for the past 24 hours. So, in the past 24 hours, there have been 875 earthquakes up to a magnitude 5.2, 508 below a magnitude 2, 219 between a magnitude 2 and 3, 116 between a magnitude 3 and 4, 27 between a magnitude 4 and 5, and 5 earthquakes above a magnitude 5. And family, I honestly believe those numbers are higher. I think they really hide how many earthquakes we've had because they don't want people to panic. Alright, my beautiful channel family, that's our end time news update for Monday, July 15th, 2024. Guys, once again, let me say thank you for watching as we put a lot of time and work into our update videos. So you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. Thank you so much. We love you guys. And here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, as we see that day approaching until the day that trumpet blows, we'll continue to bring you all the latest end time news. Now, I'm not quite done with the news. I've got some really good news for everybody. Jesus paid our sin debt on the cross nearly 2,000 years ago. The man who never sinned, paid our sin debt. That is true love. And I love what the Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. And the word of the Most High God says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Family, Jesus did it all on the cross. And in the book of Ephesians, it tells us that we are saved by grace. Family, where would we be without the finished work of Jesus? Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Well, my people channel family, once again, a big old thank you for watching. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, share it if you can, and drop a comment. Because it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel family. Because here at the Watchman Adam News Channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, once again, if you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section below. And as always, I want to give a special thank you to all our channel members. The channel member video only I've been working on, guys. For sure, it will be dropping this Friday. It's a very special video. I'll notify you when it's uploaded, guys. But thank you guys for the support. We love you guys. And if you feel led to make a donation to what we do here at the Watching Adam News Channel, it'd be greatly appreciated and much needed. We have ways you could do so. Check out your screen right there or look in the description box below. 
Family, we do ask that you please pray about it first. To everyone that helps us on the mission, family, we truly appreciate it. Even if it's just prayers, guys, we appreciate it. And if you're sending a donation for our homeless outreach, please let us know when you send a donation. Or if you're sending it for the Bible ministry, please let us know. And family, as always, another way you can support what we do here at the Watch Mantle News Channel is through our partnership with the Rambo Health Company. We offer you all natural, biblical, healing, and anointing oils. And not only do you help the Watch Mantle News Channel, you also help us take the fight to be pharmaceutical. Family, these oils work and we personally use them ourselves. The one to the left right there, the Good Samaritan, I use it for anxiety. I put it on my upper lip and inhale it and family, it helps out so much. It's also good for toothaches, inflammation, and so many other things. Guys, like I said, we got oils for everybody. And family, this picture right here, the one you see to the left, the V-Shield, I use it daily too to help with my COPD. Guys, I'm telling you, these oils work. And family, since I cracked the vertebrae in my back, I'm going to tell you something. Brother Flash and the Rainbow Health Company have been a big blessing to me and my family. Brother, we love you. They've helped me get the Elijah's oil, which is our strongest strength, and it's helped with my back so much. So visit www.biblehealingoil.com. Use code WATCHMAN20. Not only do you save 20%, but family, you also get a free gift. You can also check the pinned comment below. There'll be a link. Just click it. It takes you straight to the site. Use my code, save 20%, and get a free gift today and help us take the fight to be pharmaceutical. And also, family, if you need a free King James Version Bible and you live inside the United States, you have any question about our healing and North Knowles, you want to ask me a question or get in touch with me, email me at watchmanoutnews at yahoo.com. Family, give me a couple days to get back to you. I'm not on my phone and electronics like that, guys, but I will get back to you. Like I said, email me if you have any questions about our oils. And if you're requesting a free King James Version Bible, at this time, we only can ship inside the United States. I apologize. We're working on being able to ship international. Just give us some time. And family, if you didn't know, we have a recovery channel and there's no high like the most high. Go follow Grace Recovery. The channel is focused on helping people in recovery and also survivors of domestic violence. Go check it out today, guys. And also, you can follow me on Telegram, Watchman Adam News. I'm also on TikTok under Watchman Adam News. Go check me out on them platforms. Well, my beautiful channel family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1. Guys, I love you and remember, let's go Harpazzo to my next video. Keep on looking up, guys. Take care.